The Core Utils package is my favorite Linux package. Over the last 18 months, I've taken the time to create 108 short YouTube videos that summarize all of the commands that are found in the Core Utils package. The GNU Core Utils package is an extremely important set of software tools that are found in basically every GNU Linux system. In other words, the commands that are present in Core Utils are the core utilities that are required to perform many of the basic tasks on your system. This includes things like creating files or changing permissions. Many of the GNU Core Utils commands are part of the POSIX specification. POSIX stands for Portable Operating System Interface. This means that many of the Core Utils commands that belong to the POSIX specification are also present on other systems, such as Mac OS and sometimes Windows. Therefore, learning about the commands that are present in GNU Core Utils is likely to provide knowledge that is mostly transferable to other platforms as well. The Core Utils package also includes a number of other commands that are not included in the POSIX specification. A few examples of this are the factor command, which finds the prime factors of large numbers, or the ptx command for creating permuted indexes. Many of the commands that belong to Core Utils are not necessarily included because they are particularly well designed or efficient, but rather because they are extremely backward compatible and likely have historical significance. In some cases, this history can date back as much as 60 years. The GNU Core Utils package is one of the most widely used implementations of Core Utils. However, there are several other implementations, such as BusyBox, a single executable minimalist implementation that's designed for use in embedded systems, BSD Utils, a collection of Core Utils like utilities from the BSD source code tree, and also UUtils Core Utils a Rust-based re-implementation of GNU Core Utils. Many of the commands in Core Utils can be traced back to the very first version of Unix. This includes many familiar commands like cat, chmod, chown, and many others. For a more complete list, you can watch the dedicated video that I made on this topic, where I compare the list of commands in Unix version 1 with a modern-day Ubuntu Linux. This close connection between modern Linux and early Unix shows up in more places than you might realize. For example, in the man pages, which I also have a dedicated video on. Quite a few of the commands that are part of core utils have a surprisingly rich history that isn't well documented, such as the print env command, which was written by Bill Joy in 1979 as part of the Berkeley software distribution. Another surprisingly interesting command is the pinky command. On the surface, reading the man page documentation on what the pinky command does makes it seem to have little value on a modern day Linux machine. However, upon digging into the history of pinky, you'll find that it's based on the historically very important finger command. The finger command was written around 1971 by Les Ernest, who is himself quite an interesting character. In 1988, the finger protocol was subject to the infamous Morris worm, which was the first computer worm to receive mainstream attention. The ch root command is yet another example of a historically significant command that is still used today. It could be argued that the ch root command is effectively the earliest form of containerization software that is ubiquitous today in other forms, such as in the case of Docker or LXD containers. A few other commands that have a surprisingly rich history are the link and unlink commands. The link command can be used to create a hard link to a file, and the unlink command can be used to delete a single file, or a hard link. You might wonder why these two commands exist at all, since their functions can already be done by the ln or rm commands respectively. The reason for their existence can be explained by exploring their surprisingly long history. In fact, references to the link and unlink commands can be traced back as early as 1964 in the Multics Design Notebook documents, which was five years before development of the Unix operating system had even started. Moving a bit forward in time, if you check the git repo for GNU Core Utils, you can see that the first commit is from October 31st, 1992. According to this page on GNU Shell Utils, file utils, shell utils, and text utils have been combined into the GNU Core Utils package. All further development and discussion is now taking place as Core Utils. Therefore, any historical research into the many Core Utilities should also consider a review of the pre-2004 archives for file utils, shell utils, and text utils. Since some of these Core Utilities are so important, a few of them are found not only in Core Utils, but some of them are built directly into the shell itself. 
This can become a source of confusion. For example, the behavior of the built-in printf command may not always be identical to the behavior of the executable user bin printf. And for this, I have a dedicated video explaining this topic. So, after all of this, you're probably wondering, which Linux command is actually my favorite? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I actually talked about that in my most recent YouTube video.